In this example, we need to find the first four terms of the recursive sequence given here. So quickly reviewing, a recursive sequence is a sequence in which terms are defined using one or more preceding terms and the initial term or terms of the sequence must be given. So in our example, we're given a sub 1 equals 7. That means the first term equals 7. And then a sub n equals 2 times a sub n minus 1 minus 5 for n being greater than or equal to 2. I know this looks complicated, but all it means is the next term equals 2 times the previous term minus 5. So let's start using this formula. So we're going to start when n equals 2. So up here, wherever you see an n, I'm going to put a 2. So a sub n, which is a sub 2, equals 2 times a sub n minus 1. So that's 2 minus 1 minus 5. Well, what's a sub 2 mean? That just means the second term equals 2 times, well, 2 minus 1 is 1, so that's a sub 1 minus 5. So the second term is just twice the first term minus 5. Are we given the first term? Yes, the first term is 7, so I have 2 times 7 minus 5. 2 times 7 is 14 minus 5. So my second term is 14 minus 5 equals 9. To get the next term, we just plug in n equals 3 into our formula. a sub 3, the third term, equals 2 times a n minus 1. So that's 3 minus 1 minus 5. So the third term is twice, 3 minus 1 is 2, a sub 2 minus 5. So that is just twice the second term. What was the second term? 9 minus 5. 2 times 9 is 18 minus 5. So the third term is 13. Lastly, plugging in n equals 4, I have a sub 4, the fourth term, equals 2 times a sub n minus 1, 4 minus 1 minus 5. So the fourth term equals 2 times a sub 3, the third term, minus 5. So what is the third term? It was 13. So it's 2 times 13 minus 5. 2 times 13 is 26 minus 5. 26 minus 5 is 21. So the fourth term is 21. So writing out the terms of my sequence, don't forget the first term was 7. The second was 9. 13, and then 21. So there are the first four terms of this sequence.